for la mañana and welcome to new beginnings church of the big bend amen a church you can call home a church alive with the drive amen, amen. so praise amen. god i'm glad we're reaching you whether it be by audio or video hallelujah prepare yourselves to receive from the lord amen he has something for you and uh include yourself don't exclude yourself so praise god we're going to be talking today about prayer or pray amen uh something that uh we forget <laughs> we all of us should, should be praying amen and not yeah. complaining or uh not just uh griping about anything and how bad things are amen uh we confess last week we went through this as god is bigger than my past my fears my sickness my depression my pain huh. my hate my anger my doubt my shame god is bigger than this world yeah. amen so if he's bigger than this world why are we complaining yeah. amen so you're going to hear pray or prayer a whole lot. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive and uh, grab your Bibles and yeah. say it like you mean it, church. Amen. And uh, okay, I've got mine. You grab yours. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. This is my Bible. My Bible. I have what it says I have. Am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. That's all right, brother. <laughs> I, I, uh, well. Did you take it off? Let, let's not go there. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I've got this to show you. We're going to be talking about praise. It says, pray more, worry less. Uh-huh. Everybody's worrying more than in their, their praying. Oh, yeah, but we need yeah. to pray more and yeah. worry less. They may need to get yeah, you one yeah. of these hanging on you or put it somewhere where you can see it all the time. Yeah. Pray, 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 pray. Yeah. As a child of God, we should be doing more praying and not complaining uh -huh. and not worrying. Amen. Well, and we're going to hit some key scriptures. So I want you to uh, grab your, uh, your pencils, your pens, your huh. highlighters, whatever. And mark it down, amen, yeah. so that you can go back and check it out for yourself, amen. So praise God. Listen up. Pray, don't worry. There we go. Pray. What is pray? Pray is, here's a good acronym for, for prayer. Praise, rejoice, and ask, and yield. Amen. I mean, there's all kinds of acronyms for that, but I, I chose this one because I like this one, amen. So you have your favorite. I got my favorite. You're going to pray. You're going to praise, rejoice, ask, and yield. Surrender yourself. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. I like that. Amen. If you're going to pray, you're going to hear this a lot. If you're going to pray, don't worry. <laughs> and if you're going to worry, why pray? Why pray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. Makes makes a lot, a lot of sense. <laughs> if you have time to worry, guess what? You got time to pray. Yeah. <laughs> if you got time to gossip, if you got time to visit, Oh, and, yeah. and, 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 and just shoot the breeze and gossip with people, you got time to pray. Oh, yeah. You know, don't waste your time. Uh -huh. You know, you're always going to find, and we're going to talk about this, we, you're always going to find some uh, uh, time wasters. You're going to find uh, uh, dream busters, mission busters, vision busters, you know. They just want to take your time and take over your time. Amen. Uh -huh. You got to be able to say, you know, hey, I got priorities. I got things to do. Amen. We got to get our lives in priority. Amen. Listen to this. W w worry is wasting today's time to clutter up tomorrow's opportunities oh, wow. with yesterday's wow. troubles. Yes. Amen. So true. Write that down. Amen. <laughs> or you can type. Yeah. Amen. I recommend it. <laughs> worry is wasting today's time to clutter tomorrow's opportunities with today's troubles. Amen. And you know what? If you don't prepare yourselves on a daily basis to spend time with him, you're going to have some uh, uh, opportunities to uh, just uh, uh, be defeated because you ain't no match for the enemy. You fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis, mm -hmm. and if you don't spend time with him, prepare yourselves, guess what? You're going to just hit the wall. Yeah. Amen? Because these giants that you're going to face, and you know worry is one of them. Anxiety is one of them. Amen. Some of these giants are facing you every single yeah. day, yeah. every opportunity. Yeah. They're right there waiting on you. Amen. So you got to spend time with him and just cast out all those 
uh, things, you know. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. The yeah. Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. you. Yes. So you got to get this word out of you. I mean, it's good to get it sold in you, uh -huh. yes. but it's best to speak it out and get yeah. it out. Yeah. And when you speak yeah. the word, you know, who that's the rhema word. So when you speak the word of God, you know, uh -huh. hallelujah, you know, that's what the enemy's afraid of because you're taking authority and you're speaking the truth. And that truth is what set you free from yeah, all these yeah. other things. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. praise God. Amen. Uh, we got a few things here. It says pray, hope, and don't, don't worry. worry. You're going to hear that a lot. Okay? So get ready. <laughs> huh. Do not worry. Amen. There's a lot of things going on. Um, well, I've got a good slide for you here in a few minutes. But are you talking the problem? Are you magnifying the problem or are you magnifying your God? All right, now. Amen. If you magnifying your problem, guess what? You're going to have problems worrying. Yeah. You're going to have anxieties. You're going to have cares. And you're going to join the world. You're going to join the crowd. Mm. And you know, say, hey, I've got some things to say, too. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you're going to have some things to say, but it's going to be negative, and you're going to be speaking the problem, and you're going to be <laughs> magnifying the problem. Amen? Woo! Yes. Praise wow. God. Amen. Go ahead, Connor. Hell, there we go. It's going to be our first scripture here. You can't see, but I'll read it to you in a few minutes here. It says, don't worry about what? Anything. Anything. Uh, Instead, what? Pray. 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 Okay, pray. believer, we're talking about you, child of God. <laughs> you pray. Uh -huh. You know, it didn't say pastor. It didn't say brother, uh, brother so-and-so or, or sister so-and-so. That Man, they, they excelled in praying. <laughs> but what about you? You pray. It says, yeah. pray about what? Some things. It says everything. Yeah. Pray. You know what's going on right now? Coronavirus. All these rioting going on. You know, are you praying about it, mm -hmm. or are you just throwing in the crowd mm -hmm. and, and you know magnifying the problem? Mm -hmm. Pray about everything. Tell God what you need Amen. and thank Him for all He has done. Amen. 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 Let me read it to you from here. <sighs> I got it somewhere. Well, let's go to the Bible. Let's get it together. Yeah, let's get it together. Philippians 4, 6, 3, and 7. Amen? Yeah. Philippians. That's why we use the word anyway. We use the word of God. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Are you there? Mm -hmm. Say, be careful for what? Nothing. Nothing. But everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known yeah. to God. Yes. And the peace of God, which mm -hmm. passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. amen. So praise God. Give it to him. Cast it on him. Leave yes. it there. Amen. We talked about going to the dumpster, dumping your trash there, you know, and you don't go back and get it. So whatever you give to God, leave it there. Mm -hmm. And in his timing, he's going to answer. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Let me read it from the New Living Translation. It says this. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Oh Tell God. God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Yes. Then you will experience God's peace. Yes. And that's what we all need right now. Yes. We need His God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. Yes. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Amen. So we've talked about this so many times, but we're a tribe being, we have a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in this uh, physical body. Mm -hmm. So we feed our spirit the word of God, and we renew our minds with the word of God, mm -hmm. and we crucify this flesh. Here, you know, if you go around talking the problem, magnifying the problem, you're going to have some fear in you. But the Bible says in 2 Corinthians uh, 5, 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by fears. You know, because if you're not full of faith, you're going to be full of fears. Yeah. Amen. You're going to be full of worries. You're going to be full of cares. So give it all. Give it all to him. Amen. Amen. Keep going, Connie. There we go. Just some bunnies for you. Worry is a conversation you have with yourself uh, about things you cannot change. Yeah. Or you have conversation with friends uh -huh. that they cannot help or they cannot change. Yeah. And prayer is what? Is a conversation you have with God about things he can change. You go to him in prayer with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to him. Amen. And now he's going to change it. Amen. And don't you worry about when it's going to happen. You just leave it there. 
And in his timing, things will happen. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Prayer. If you don't have this, write it down somewhere. Oh, yeah. Prayer is a bridge from <laughs> your mess to God's rest. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> or, <laughs> prayer oh. is a bridge from your mess to God's best. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's going to give you that rest that you need. You know, <laughs> some of us need a lot of rest. Mm. Amen. But we have to get the word in us. Yes. So the word can give us that rest we need. Spend time with him so that you can have the rest of God. Amen. Uh -huh. His rest. His peace. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. Praise Lord. the Lord. I like those colors. Amen. Keep them coming. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is what I wanted to show you. Have you prayed about it as much as you have talked about it? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> have you prayed mm. about it as much as you've talked about it? Mm. What are you magnifying? Mm. Huh? Are you magnifying the problem or are you magnifying Amen. your God? Yeah. Amen. Hey, you know, have you heard about my God? <laughs> you know, you can just go join the crowd and say, they're, they're so negative mm. and they're magnifying this problem. Mm -hmm. So if you join them, what you go in there and say, hey, have you heard about my God? Instead of joining them and saying something negative, yeah. say something positive. Amen? Have you heard about my God? Don't <laughs> magnify. And that's Matthew 21 and 12. Ooh, yes. And write these down, amen, so you can go look for yourself. Is it 21 and 12 or 21 22? Excuse me, 21 22. Is it, that's what I said. <laughs> Keep going, cousin. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, believer, child of God, yes. pray for America. Everybody is in the bandwagon, you know, talking about what's going on and, and the negative and all these things, you know. Pray for America. Is there where yes. you live? That's where I live. I don't know about yeah. you. Hey. But if I live here, I'm going to pray. You know, yes. the word of God tells us to pray. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, 2 Chronicles 7.14. Oh, my gosh. 2 Chronicles uh, 7.14 says, mm -hmm. If my people, mm -hmm. he's talking about us, believers. Yes. You, amen, mm -hmm. don't exclude yourself. You're part of this. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so get away from the bad crowd. Get away from the negative crowd mm -hmm. and say, if my people, yes. you can scratch people out of there and just put your name there. Your name, yes. Amen. Which are called by my name mm -hmm. to humble themselves and what? Pray. 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 And seek my face mm -hmm. and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear their fr uh, from heaven and I will forgive their sin yeah, and yeah. heal their land. Yeah. Everybody wants something to happen. Yeah. You know, you pray, you pray, you pray. Well, what about you? Are you praying? This is where you live. This is your yeah. country. Amen. Pray for America. Yeah. Amen. You know, the, uh, <laughs> the world wants America to fall. What about you? Do you want America to fall? Do you have a word to say about this? Pray. Amen. Pray. Amen. Because he says, if my people, mm -hmm. and you know it's time that you uh, stop excluding yourself and include yourself. Yes. Amen. Say, hey, I'm in this. I'm part of this. You know, uh, as church, we are the church, the body of Christ. Yes. So you're part of the body of Christ. Yes. So he wants his body to pray. Amen. My people which are called by my name, shall humble himself and pray. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I've got a lot of good scriptures about, Amen. about the believers, oh, us, oh. praying. Amen. Yes. We're yes. supposed to do something. We're supposed to pray. Yes. Not complain. That's not gripe. That's it. Keep going. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Here we go. That's what we do. Is cast all your what? Yeah. All your worries on him. Why? Because he yeah. cares for you. Yeah. We hear this all the time and more and more frequent here. You, First Peter 5, 7. Mm. Amen. Cast it all on him because he cares for you. Yes. Give it to him. You know what cast means? Cast mm -hmm. doesn't mean uh, you just bring it to him like that. He said cast means to throw out. Have you yeah. ever gone fishing and you cast your line? Oh, I mean, yeah. you throw it out. Have oh. you ever cast a net? You throw it out. Uh -huh. So it's just throw it out and say, hey, you can have this. I don't want nothing. You know, I don't want these anymore. Right. Just give it to him. Cast it on yeah. him. Amen. Because why? Because he cares for you. He loves you. Amen. Amen. And this is you. He says, cast all your worries on him because he cares for you. See what yes. it says? You uh -huh. scratch that. Put your name there. Yes. Okay? Don't let so and so or anybody else or people talk and say, God don't care about you. Mm. Wow. That's not what the word of God says. Right. The word of God says he cares about you. Yes. And you put your name there. Mm. He knows you. 
Okay, he knows yeah. you better than anybody else, and guess what? He loves you the most. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a good amen right there. Right. Keep going. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. For God has given us the spirit of freedom, but what? Yes. Of power, of love, and of a sound oh, mind. Second Timothy 1:7. Yes. Praise God. We just went through that. But anyway, still. You let go of fear. Fear is not good for you. Amen. The word is not good for you. Anxiety is not good for you. Cares is not good for you. Right. You know, he says the weights of this world. He says cast all his weights on yes. him because he cares for you. Yes. If you're going to fulfill what God wants you to fulfill, you got to cast all these things on him. Yes. These things are weighing you down. Yes. Amen. So fear is one of them. Let it go. Yes. Keep going, Tyler. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Again, Psalms 55, 22. Yes. Says to what? Cast your burdens on, burden. on the Lord. You cast it on him. Give it to him. You know, you don't have to go uh, tell somebody else. Mm -hmm. You take it to him. Yes. You know, <laughs> I don't know how you was brought up, but the Bible says, if you read the word of God, the Bible, basic instruction before leaving earth, you know, it's simple. You get the word in you, and you find out that you can come to the Lord and bring it to him and cast it on him. Amen? So you don't have to go take it to anybody else but him. Amen? Just cast your burden upon the Lord, and he shall what? Sustain you. The <laughs> scratch the and just put your name there. Amen. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalms 55 and 2. Mark all these uh, scriptures down. You go check them for yourself. You know, uh -huh. sometimes I go there, I go to Bible Way and check different translations and mm -hmm. find out one you can understand better. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But my translation says, cast your burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain you. Uh -huh. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Amen. You stand on solid grounds. Last week yeah. we, talk, we talked about having roots. Yeah. You want to have some spiritual roots, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's your faith. Here's your roots. It's Jesus. I'm grounded on Jesus. He's my rock. Amen. Amen. Woo, come on now. <laughs> Keep going. Isaiah 41 10, this is New Living Translation. It says, Don't be afraid, for I am what? With you. Yes. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Yes. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Yes. Amen. So yes. all these lies you've been listening to, let them go. Yes. Amen. Get in the word. Find out what the word of God uh -huh. says. You don't have to live with that anymore. My translation says, Fear not, for I am with you again yes. everywhere you see you i mm -hmm. put your name there mm -hmm. i am with you be not dismayed for i am your god yes. he says he's my god yes. if he's my god if, if he's my heavenly father mm -hmm. i'm his child yes. amen i'm his child so yes. see you're special you're amen. special to him <laughs> i am your god he says i will strengthen you you need strength you go to him mm -hmm. you know on a daily basis when jesus needs strength he came to be sacrificed, mm -hmm. to be crucified on a daily basis when you went and spent time with the Father. Yes. Lord, I need your strength. Yes. You know, if Jesus needed it, guess what? We need it as well. <laughs> Just get before him and say, Lord, I need your strength. Yes. I need you, Lord. I yes. need you now more than anything. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We sang a beautiful song this morning. It says, I will bless thee, O Lord. Mm -hmm. It says, I will bless thee, O Lord. With my hands lifted up. Yes. And my mouth filled with praise. Yes. Not complaints. Uh -huh. <laughs> with my mouth filled with praise. It says, I will praise. I will bless you. And a heart of thanksgiving. Yes. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I will praise thee, O oh Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. This is awesome. You yes. just go before him. You don't know what to say. Just sing something to him. Or yes. just say thank you. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It says, he will uphold you with his right hand. Yes. So you are special to him. I don't know how you see yourself, but it's time you start seeing yourself yes. the way he sees you. Amen. Amen. I don't care what the world, how the world sees you, or who sees you what way, or what the enemy's been t <clears throat> telling you, but see yourself special. You see yourself the way God sees you, and he sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. Yes, he he sees you yes, an yes, overcomer. Yes. Amen. He sees you doing more, more and more. Amen for him. Praise God. Keep going to him. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Come to me, all you who are what? Who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you what? Rest. Come to me. He says, come to me. <laughs> all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will yes. give you rest. Yes. So we go to him. Amen. Uh -huh. I don't go to the bar. <laughs> and I don't go and get some of that to kill you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I go to God. You want to get high? I All love getting high. I love getting high on the most high. The most high. Amen. Okay. And you know what? You don't have no Thank side effects. Woo, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I just love to get high. My God. Amen. <laughs> Woo, praise God. I'm high already. Glory. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> praise God. It's good to have fun in Him. Amen. Amen. Matthew 28, uh, 11, 28, New Living Translation. Jesus says, come to me. Uh-huh. All you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens. Yeah. You have heavy burdens? Uh -huh. Why are you still carrying them? You go to him. You know, you know uh, you've heard what people say. And people say, well, you can't go to God because you've done something wrong. Yeah. You know, he yeah. says, come to me and give it to me. Yes. It's time you stop, stop carrying that. You know, quit being a prisoner of your past. Yes. Amen. Yes. That was just, it's gone. Yes. Leave it there. Amen. You're released. You've been released. Amen. <laughs> You're born again. You're a new child of God. Amen. Praise God. Ah, praise God. I'm, I'm happy already. <laughs> Keep going, God. <laughs> For we walk by faith and not by sight. Saint uh, Corinthians five seven. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Prayer is. Powerful. Yes, it is. The most important conversation of the day. Uh -huh. Take it to the, take Lord. it to God before anyone else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that person you've been running to, or that bottle you've been going to, uh -huh. <laughs> or whatever, whatever wacky tobacco you've been smoking. <laughs> Don't go there anymore. That's right. <laughs> you take it to God first. Amen. Amen. Prayer is powerful. Amen. Prayer will change. Amen. Change it. The yes. most important conversation of your day is when you take it to God first. Amen. You take it to Him first before you do anything else. Amen. It says Thank Matthew six thirty three. Seek ye first the kingdom of God yes. and His righteousness. Amen. We're gonna have a slide on that here in a few minutes, yes. but you take it to Him first. You spend yes. time with Him first. Have relationship. That's what yes. Christianity is all about. Have a relationship yes. with your heavenly Father. Yes. And when you have a relationship with Him, you know what? Amen. He's going to care for you. He's going to watch you. He's going to love you, and He's going to sustain you. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So, prayer is powerful. Amen. Yes, it is. Woo. Yeah. I'm going to be going over some of this that's very, very important for us concerning prayer, because I got this from the Bible. Amen. Instruction concerning prayer. Mm. Matter of fact, you can open your Bible to First Timothy chapter two, verses one and two. Mm. First Timothy is right before Second Timothy. No. There it is. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is right, 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 right after uh, Saint uh, Thessalonians, <laughs> chapter two, verses one and two. So you mark this in your Bible. Yeah. If you don't have a Bible, get you one. Yeah. One that you can buy, yeah. highlight, yeah. and 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 just write on it. So it says, I exhort therefore, well, excuse me, uh Second Timothy, excuse me, first Timothy chapter two, verses one and two. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplication, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving, or giving of thanks, be made for all oh. men. Mm -hmm. Amen. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. Yes. Yes. Okay, so once again, he's talking to the believer here. Mm. Amen. This, uh, in this translation here, in this version, New uh, Revised Standard, it says, first of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, mm -hmm. and thanksgiving be made for everyone, mm -hmm. for all men. Yes. And for kings, and we don't have kings, we have presidents. Yes. Amen. America has presidents. Yes. And for all who are in a high position or in authority so that they may lead a quiet and peaceful life 
and godliness and dignity. Amen. So as a child of God, we don't get into politics, but I just want to let you know what we're supposed to do as Christians. We're not supposed to join the bandwagon over there by talking about mm. what the president ain't doing or what the president's no good or what the president whatever. Mm -hmm. right. He says, you pray, pray for your leaders yeah, because yeah. of what a God tells us to. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So this is what we need to do, child of God. We need to pray yes. for our leaders. Amen? Yes. Whether it be your Congress, your senators, your mayors, uh, your city officials, yeah. you pray for them. Yeah. You don't go around just knocking them down and talking about them, you know? Um, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but we're to pray for them. Amen. Amen. According to what the word of God says. Yes. yes Amen. Yes, yes. So everybody's talking against them. Everybody coming against them. Doesn't mean that you have to join them. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. We're not, we're not supposed to judge. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're just supposed to pray. If the, if the Lord put it in the Bible for us to pray for them, guess what? He knew mm -hmm. <laughs> that it was going to be a, a tough thing to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. For them to be there. And to put up with all this, you know, yes. we need to lift them up and pray for them. Yeah. Amen. According to the word of God, this is not according to me. That's right. <laughs> I just support whoever is in office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wh whoever, whoever happens to be in office, I pray for them because the word of God tells me. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. Woo. I'm going to leave, 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 leave it at that. Right. Amen. So as a believer, this is what I am supposed to do. Amen. Amen. Ooh, pray when things are good when things are bad he said he's God on the mountain he's God in the valley yes <laughs> so guess what he never leaves you nor forsakes you mm -hmm. so when things are good hey you know we remember about our God when things are bad mm -hmm. we forget but when things are good we forget him and when things are bad all of a sudden you say hey I can go to God <laughs> mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. well you know this uh, coronavirus and this rioting going on mm. We need to pray about that. You need yeah. to pray about it. Amen. Yeah. This is your country as well. Never stop praying. Amen. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. Yes. Pray more and worry less. That's what's my little time. <laughs> <laughs> pray more and worry less. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Have you one of those? Pray more and worry less. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. Amen. You make the decision. Yes. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Are you going to pray or are you going to worry? Mm -hmm. You make that choice. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody That's holding right. a gun to your head. That's right. But as a child of God, you need to pray instead of worry. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Amen. You yes. bring it to him and leave it there. Pray is the Amen. most powerful thing to do. The most important thing to do mm -hmm. when we can easily gossip, mm -hmm. talk, or join the wrong crowd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say, have you prayed about it? Mm -hmm. Have you been to Jesus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you talked to Jesus about it? Mm -hmm. So get away and stay away from the, from the crowds because the crowds are not magnifying God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Pray the most popular thing to do, not the most, excuse me, not the most popular thing to do when you can easily gossip oh, and join the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. In First Thessalonians five fifteen, I know I have one in there coming. Keep going, keep going. Or it's last week, yeah. Oh, there we go. It says rejoice sometimes. No, always. Oh, always. Rejoice always and do what? Pray, Pray continually. continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Yes. First Thessalonians five sixteen through eighteen. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Let me see what. Translation I have here. New King James. Amen. Rejoice always. Yes. Pray without ceasing. Uh -huh. Pray continually. Never stop praying. Uh -huh. In everything, give thanks. Yes. For this is the will of God in Christ yes. Jesus Christ. for you. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, this is for you, believer. You're a child of God. <laughs> so guess what? We have some things to do. But you gotta get in the word. Yes. You gotta get in the word to find out what the word of God tells us to do. And then be obedient. It says we are hearers and doers of the word of God. Amen. Be hearers and doers of the word of God. So you must do what the word of God tells you to do. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Pray continually. Never stop praying. 
in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ uh -huh. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. These days and any days, the power of prayer will overcome any or all anxiety, worry, stress, cares, all problems. Mm -hmm. So we take it to him in prayer Amen. and leave it there and right. trust him that he's going to take care of it. Yes. He's done it before. He'll do it again. Mm -hmm. He'll do it again. And he'll keep doing it. Amen. As long as you bring it to him and leave it there. Yes. Just yes. trust and have faith. You know, to trust God is to have faith in God. <laughs> Amen. So yes. praise God. Have faith and believe in the Lord's word or his yes. promises. Amen. And this is uh, Matthew. Go back one cup. I think uh, one or two cups. Back up. Matthew. Go back. Yeah, Matthew. Hmm. There we go. Says Matthew 6, uh, 33 and 34, seek first the kingdom. Seek first, seek the kingdom of God above all else oh. and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Yeah. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worry. Huh. Today's trouble is enough for today. Oh, yeah. Amen. This is a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, you write this down, you go look at it for yourself. Amen. Oh. The NIV says this, but seek first. His kingdom, his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. If he tells me not to worry about tomorrow, I don't have to worry about tomorrow. That's right. Amen. If I choose to worry about tomorrow, that's my choice. Mm -hmm. Okay? For tomorrow will, will worry about itself. Yes. And each day has enough troubles oh, yeah. of its own. Oh. Sure. Amen. If each day has enough troubles of its own, uh -huh. why am I worrying about the past? Right. Why am I worrying about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to deal with today. Mm -hmm. Remember, you, you sang this song many times. One day at a time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. I can only take one day at a time. That's all. That's all he wants us to do is one yeah. day at a time. Amen. Pray more. <laughs> Worry less. Yes. <laughs> Praise mm -hmm. God. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 21, 22. We, uh, Again, he says, whatever things you ask in prayer, believe, and you will receive. Amen. Mm -hmm. Romans 12 and 12 says, be happy in your hope. Do not give up when trouble comes. Do not let anything stop you from praying. Don't let anything stop yeah. you from praying. Mm -hmm. Don't let distractions, don't let uh, those dream busters, mm -hmm. vision busters, mission busters come time busters come yeah. and take your time. Well, you know what? I was going to pray. Oh, man, you can do that later. <laughs> right now, we got to go and whatever. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go and have some more that to kill you. Mm. <laughs> or, or some of you call it tequila. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As believers, one of the greatest needs is to stop worrying. Stop the anxiety and stop the stress. Yes. Why? Because God didn't want us to have it. Why? Because they kill you. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> yeah, along with the tequila, they do the same. Yes. Worry, anxiety, stress are not supposed to conquer the believer. That's right. Amen. These things are not supposed to have you. Amen. Amen. Listen, Paul was in prison for all those years, and he wrote. Two thirds of the New Testament mm -hmm. from prison, mm -hmm. but see, prison never had him. That's right. Amen. Prison never had him. So don't let those things have you. Amen. That's Worry, right. anxieties, and stress are supposed to uh, not supposed to conquer the believer. Don't let them control you. You control them. Don't let them magnify you. You magnify your God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Don't let these uh, daily giants speak to you. That's right. Okay. <laughs> you speak to them. Amen. Cancel them. I say, no, nah, I cancel that in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Growing spiritually, growing mature, or, or maturing as we fight this spiritual battle on a daily basis. Remember, you fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Whatever you're full of, <laughs> cannot. There's no match to the devil. Mm -hmm. That's a spiritual battle. You got to get in the Word of God. Yes. And the Word, you need the Word of God mm -hmm. to overcome this. Uh, Yes. Spiritual battle, amen. Yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So we're growing and going for Him. Knowing the truth sets you free. Yes. And you know, when you have the Word of God in you and you're going, <laughs> you're setting people free. Yes. Reconciling people to God. Amen. 
them people, giving them the good news, amen? Yeah. Being that shining light in that dark world, amen? Jesus gave us a brand new way to look at life. Yeah. And overcoming these bad habits of worrying, anxieties, and stress. Prayer is the most powerful. <laughs> it's more powerful than drugs, booze, pills, alcohol. Yeah. But no bad side effects. Mm -hmm. This is not <laughs> This is not for you, child of God. Amen. It's not for you. Just choose the side right now and say, hey, this is not for me. Stop it. Yeah. You can stop it. Amen. You don't have to wait on nobody else. You stop and say, hey, I'm turning my life around. I don't have to wait on anybody else. Yeah. God is there for you. He says, never leave you, nor forsake you. Amen. But you can also receive him now as your Lord and Savior. If you never, ever received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you can do that now. All you have to do is say, Lord, I failed you. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come and be my Lord of my life. Be Lord of my life. Amen. And you know what? He won't turn you down. That's right. Amen. He won't turn you down. This is for you. Be victorious in him. Be victors and not victims. Amen. Be more than conquerors. Be a winner. Be a champion. Yes. Know that you can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens you. Amen? Amen? So watch your words. Watch your action. And control your work done. Mm. Amen? Remember, speak faith-filled words. Frame your world with the Word of God. Amen? Amen. And not just go around shooting any negative thing. Amen? Yes. Romans 8, 37 says in the Amplified, Yet in all these things you are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us so much that he died for us. He loved us so much he died for us. Amen. And now he's given us his word. So praise God. We can go and live and be for him. So get your daily priorities in order and we're close. I want to read this to you right quick. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34, listen. David is telling us in this word. In verse 25, he says, don't worry about necessities. He also tells us, verse 25, don't worry about David your... David Jesus? Jesus. <clears throat> don't worry about necessities. <laughs> the word, yes. Don't worry about your life and your body. Verse 25 also. Don't worry about food and shelter, verse 26. Verse uh, 27, do not worry about your stature. Mm. Okay? So you're 10 feet tall or you're 4 <laughs> feet tall. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're a child of God. The greater one is yeah. in you. Amen? You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen? Mm. So don't worry about what you look like. Mm. You're beautiful. Yeah. Don't worry about your clothing, verse 28 through 30. And don't worry about your food, drink, or clothing. Verse 31 through 32. Don't worry at all. It says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Verse 33. And don't worry about tomorrow. Live one day at a time. Verse 34. Amen. Amazing. Amen. Praise God. So let the worries go. Let the anxieties go. And let the stress go, child of God. Amen. You don't have to put up with that anymore. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Father, we just give it all to you, Father. Yes. We just thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to serve you and be stress-free, anxiety-free, care-free, Father God. And he says, we choose to give it to you, Father. And we just pray, Father, for all those that are watching, all those that are listening right now. But meet their needs, Father God. Thank you for all those that are coming to you right now, Father. Yes. Receive them, Father. You have a mission for them that they will fulfill, Father, what you have called them to do. Know that they are so blessed to have you and be on the winning side, Father God. We just thank you for it, Father. Those of you, if you're watching and, and you have any hurts in your body, mm. need a touch from God, just touch that part of your body. Yes. And he said, touch, yes. Father. We thank you, Father. I need my shoulder healed. Thank you, Father. My shoulder's healed. Or anything attacking those bodies, Father. We just call them normal. We call them healed right now by the stripes of Jesus, Father. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Need to pray longer, you have time to touch everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Touch well, everything that needs healing. <laughs> in given time, if you're watching or listening, if you'd like to give your tithes and offerings, you can still do that. We thank you for helping us during this time. And uh, you see our website. No, we don't have our website up there. But our website, nbcbigben.com, there's a 
Donate button there, just hit that button. If you're mailing it, then mail it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Again, we want to say thank you and God bless you. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God.